Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm replacing my wife's 2015 Honda Accords uh, starter. Uh, this video is kind of backwards because I was debating if I even wanted to make this video because of my camera quality. It's been kind of messing up on me. So it's going to be kind of backwards. So I already took the old starter out. New one's going to go in. Just to give you guys a quick tip before um, I go in more in depth with this video. Um, if you can, if you guys have enough time, if you start noticing this going out, which I did and it completely messed up, order this online because it's these are super expensive. So at O'Reilly's, I get like a discount, and this is probably like this is like 300 or almost 400 bucks. Uh, if you order this online, you can get one that's probably used with only like 5,000 miles or 10,000 miles for like 50 bucks. So you're saving a lot of money. Um, I didn't do that because I'm an idiot, I procrastinated, and then next thing you know, this car wouldn't start. So, here we are today, <laughs> $300 in the hole. Um, so like I said, this video is going to be kind of backwards, so I'm going to give you guys some pointers real quick. Make sure you have a flathead screwdriver or a pick, because you're going to have to take a boot off, or a desk guard, off the positive uh, terminal, and then um, we'll go from there. And before you guys get started, make sure you take off the negative terminal on the battery because you don't want nothing to happen. And then go in the car and push the start button to make sure everything's off because you don't want to unplug anything and short circuit or shock yourself. First, what you want to do is make sure you have the car on jacks. Uh, always when you put the car in jack stands, do what a lot of people do or mechanics do or whatever. It's called a um, bunk check so you pretty much bump the car make sure nothing gives out because when you're under there you're vulnerable to anything to happen so make sure you do that and then what I always do since we're working towards the front of the car I always leave the jack um, pump up over here on the what's it called it's just like a tow hook that pretty much goes to the frame of the car um, leave that up because if your jacks ever give out on you um, you have something to help you out or to get like you'll have enough time to get out because that'll hold it so and now I'm gonna go over the tools of what you need to get this job done all right so tools you're gonna need is gonna be a 14 mil socket you're gonna need a 12 mil socket um, half inch drive or breaker bar because you're gonna have a tr uh, trouble breaking it and tight spaces. I did it without a breaker bar, but just to save you guys a headache, use a breaker bar to break loose the bolts. Um, what I use for the boot, which I was telling you guys for the terminal, was just a long flathead screwdriver. And then you guys want to have extensions because um, it's kind of a tight, tight spot. You'll see what I mean under because the axle pretty much blocks you in a way, so it gives you limited space and uh, you know room to do that. So, anyways. If you guys have one of these, I highly suggest it makes the job go by faster and it makes your life easier. All right, so just to show you guys where this is at, this is the oil pan and the starter literally goes right there. But see what I mean? This axle kind of blocks you from trying to break loose the bolt. Let's see if I can show you right there. So you got a bolt there and you got a long bolt that goes on the top. Let's see. Here's your wire loom. This is the boot right here I was telling you about. I hope you guys can see that. That's the boot that I was telling you about. It's kind of a pain in the butt to take off. There is a little tab where you could pull on, but a lot of times those rip. So be very careful. Just use use your hand and use the flathead screwdriver or pick to pry it back. Don't rip it because if you don't have one, if you rip that, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Anyways, so that's where your starter goes. And then... Yeah, so I'm going to feed the new one in, and then you guys can just reverse my steps. I didn't really make this video like a really regular video how I do my other videos, because like I said, my camera quality has been messing up on me. So, I'm not going to keep saying that. So anyways, I'm going to get the new starter out, or in there, and then squeeze it in, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I fitted this back in there, and just to show you guys, so this connector... This bracket, all you do is just push up on this little tab and it pulls off. It's kind of hard to put it back on there to show you guys because all this is kind of tight in here. But you can see here's your plug. This is your negative, I believe. This is your positive here. It has a little lock nut and a nut on it. <laughs> and then you got your bolt here, the bottom bolt. And then there's a top bolt up here that has 
it's pretty long. So you gotta. Let's just show you guys how long it is. It's pretty long. And that goes and that pretty much holds it in. So, but yeah, so here's your positive end. This is what I was talking about the boot. And there's that. And then you go like that. So. And then when you have, uh, when you take your old one out, it's kind of like a puzzle. You just gotta pull this out and then wiggle it around to come out. So just to give you guys a quick tip, what I did, um, because you're gonna have pro a problem with the positive terminal, or, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, not terminal, but you know what I mean. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to squeeze your tools in there because this loom comes down and it's kind of, it's real thick, so it's kind of hard to maneuver. So what I did is I loosened up the bolts and I kind of like just tilted the starter out and then stuck my socket on there and went from there and broke it loose. Um, because like I said, you're really, really limited with space. So um, I'm going to put everything back in. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to record it because I don't have enough room and, you know, hands to hold the camera and do that. So I'll show you guys once I'm done. All right. So it's kind of hard to show you guys. So it's all back in. Keep in mind, this little part, all you do is push up this little tab and it pulls off. That's all you got to do. And then on this other part, there's a little negative terminal right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. You just pinch the tip on the top and then pull it off. And then, remember I told you about the boot on this for the positive, you just pull that back and then that's it. So, like I said, that pulls off. Make sure this is one, where's it at? Hang on. This is one bolt right here. And then you have the middle bolt on the top, which is, I don't know if you guys can see that bolt right there. Um, it's a long bolt. And what I recommend is use a ratchet, an electronic ratchet, like I showed you. And then yeah, so that's pretty much it. Sorry guys, I know this is kind of a crappy video, but I'd rather just show you guys like this because I don't have anything to hold this camera to show you guys how I do this. Uh, just take your time with it and then um, yeah, go from there.